在人们的心目中，医院往往是一个色调灰暗、气氛沉闷的去处。为了改变医院的这种负面形象，一九九八年，在伦敦南肯辛顿和切尔西心理健康中心，诞生了一个名为“夜莺工程”的慈善项目。他们致力于将艺术引入医院，为患者提供一个乐观向上、生机勃勃的康复环境，同时拉近医院和社区之间的距离。那么最近的夜莺工程举办了一个别开生面的展览，展出了英国著名建筑家威尔沃索普的绘画作品，让我们一起去欣赏。鲜艳的色彩，大胆的构图，充满童趣的主题，一幅幅风格各异、饱含生机的绘画作品，让人感觉似乎走入了一家当代艺术画廊。然而，谁又能想到，这里不是画廊，而是一家精神病医院？从上世纪七十年代开始，英国就陆续出现了让艺术走入医院的项目。受到这些项目的启发，心理医生尼克罗兹于一九九八年和他的朋友斯蒂芬巴内姆一起，创建了夜莺工程。Uh, my thoughts were that hospitals very often are rather drab, depressing places to walk into,、um, and that really works against the、uh, what we're trying to do. We're trying to make people feel better when they come to hospital. So.、Uh, I liked the idea of bringing art and music into hospitals to make them more healing places.、Uh, and taking my lead from one or two other、uh, projects of a similar sort that I had seen,、um, I started with Stephen Barnum, founding the Nightingale Project, and experimenting with inviting artists to come and exhibit in this space in this hospital.、Um, and it led on to some really interesting collaborations with artists. We've become Uh, the momentum has grown over the years, and so we're working with some wonderful artists. We've been very lucky in the artists that we're collaborating with. 充满人文气息的艺术作品让医院的环境明亮愉悦起来，抚慰患者和家人的情绪，舒缓医护人员的压力，同时让医院更加贴近社区，并为艺术家们提供另类的展览空间。自成立以来，夜莺工程已经和众多英国内外的艺术家合作，在英国乃至其他欧洲国家的数家医院里展出了他们的作品。The criteria for producing art for this place or for inviting artists to exhibit here is just people, artists whose work we like, artists whose work that we consider to be positive and to contain positive values, so that what we try, we what we want to create here is an atmosphere of uplift and. Just general positivity, and many of the patients and staff and doctors, and they comment when they come here just on what a bright and happy and positive place it is. 夜莺工程的最新项目是在伦敦南肯辛顿和切尔西心理健康中心举办的英国建筑家威尔沃索普的绘画作品展。威尔沃索普是英国最负盛名的建筑家之一，他的作品遍布世界各地，包括多伦多的风力设计中心。汉堡的轮渡码头，被称为“碧海蓝天”的马赛地区政府大楼，在英国则有佩卡姆图书馆和曼彻斯特的薯条大楼。在建筑设计之余，威尔最大的爱好就是绘画。For I don't know how many years, but a long, long time, I've suddenly found myself easing more and more into painting. The relationship between the painting and architecture、um, is really synonymous. So often I explore. The beginnings of a, of, a, of a possible building or buildings through painting because I like it. It's nice and fluid, and、um, you can see things, and it gets your mind going. Sometimes you can just I can just start to draw with a completely blank piece, usually quite a large piece of paper. Just a large piece of paper, and you just and the act of drawing then begins. It begins to turn into something. Then you find things, and I think that's the way it should be: is to lose yourself so that. You're not bringing in all that sort of cultural baggage that you've been. We all carry on our backs to try and get rid of it. It's not always possible. In fact, it's a very hard thing to do. Human care is Wilhelm Wolfsop's architectural aim. His greatest wish is that his buildings and his paintings can bring joy to people. Well, I mean, as an architecture critic, I'm often asked,、um, "How do you know a building is any good?" And there, there isn't really a, a simple answer to that. Except there is. A building is good if it makes you feel better.、Um, 
and real Orsop's buildings certainly achieve that. But I think there's a clue to that in his paintings, uh, in, in his art. I mean, there's an engagement with colour, there's, 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 there's a vitality about it, and it's fabulously significant to see work like this in the setting of a hospital. 作为夜莺工程的赞助人，威尔沃索普时常去到医院和病人们一起作画，共同享受创作过程所带来的乐趣。This is、uh, this particular one is one of a whole series, which、uh, the rest and this is borrowed from the St Charles Hospital in Labrick Grove, and、um, I work with the patients on say every third Saturday in the mornings.、Um, And I thought that was an important thing to do. So everyone works together, me and and the patients, on one、uh, sheet of paper, with paintings and drawings. We did all sorts of things. It was it was great fun. They just enjoy the paint. They enjoy the medium. And they enjoy seeing something emerge. This is actually two two layers. You'll see there's another another work underneath here. And then you cut this this out, and、um, it reveals what's behind. And I think particularly in um, in um, In mental hospitals, at the weekends, there's not so there's not so many staff there. There's not much to do, and I think it's, it becomes it changes from being a hospital into a bit of a prison, really. And I think that it needs more of these sort of activities to try and help. Where was the photo? Photo exhibition attracted the numbers of visitors. There are medical professionals, doctors, artists, and common people. The thing that strikes me is that he is. Happy to work on a lot of scales, but he seems to really find his、uh, touch on a larger scale, which I'm not very surprised about given his personality, because he's so expansive, and that really comes through in the work. And I think all of these are quite exciting, but they they look a little bit like fragments of something that could be put to use somewhere else, in his work perhaps. Well, I think it's extremely exciting because when you look at work like this, like this, you see collaboration between somebody who is a foremost artist and architect working in the community with people in a very direct way. And when you look at the work that's on the wall, the variety of techniques, the the imagination that's shown through here, and the freedom is something that's quite spectacular. 在伦敦南肯辛顿和切尔西心理健康中心举办的威尔沃索普绘画作品展将一直持续到二零一零年二月二十六日，而夜莺工程已经在紧张地筹备下一个项目，将更多的艺术和音乐带入到医院之中，将美和愉悦带入人们的生活。<音乐>